Hey there besties, how are we doing today? We have been blessed on June 1st with a new Amberlynn haul, but get this, this one is a huge grocery haul and we get to go along with her shopping. I'm excited to see her out and about, you know, shopping, her natural habitat really. So with that being said, let's do this. Hey besties, my first merch drop is now available. If you'd like to support me and the channel, please check out the merch link in bio. Hello, welcome to a new vlog. I just ended my other girl. vlog. Currently, the lighting in this house is so bad because like there's no sun shining. It's just storms have been happening. It's been a time, but it's been a time that I love. I personally love the rain. So does my girlfriend, so. We're both pluviophiles. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up, but it's just someone who loves rain and Remember, it makes I learned what that word meant because she explained it one time already, but I'm glad to be reminded again. Happy. So you guys have been wanting to see me in this uh, outfit and I've been forgetting to show you guys. So here it is today. If you guys remember when I hauled. Girl, I personally don't get the whole cow print trend. I, I just don't understand. I know I said it before. I'm gonna say it again, bestie. Like, I don't mean this in a fat phobic way. I really don't. I just think that like, you're just setting yourself up for hate comments. And like, I know you kind of like it though, because like, you like to troll. So maybe that's why you're like, oh, this will be so funny. Like everyone's so mad. Like if that's, if that's the plan, go off. I respect that. But like, I don't even need to like, look at her comment section to know what kind of comments are on this video because of that dress. But I bet you it boosted engagement for that video, pushed her further in the algorithm because the more comments you get, the more pushed into the algorithm you are. So you know what? If she's trolling, she's doing a good job because I'm sure it's working. I got two cow print overalls, black and white. And mm -hmm. then I also got a, like a light pink one. So Fun. this is how it looks. And I love it. I love how it looks on me. I think it is super cute. And yeah. If you so like it, I love that for you. You guys have finally seen it in action this Fine. is a size four from hot topic the only thing is i haven't worn the pink one because i don't know like what to wear beneath it because i do I, I want like a long sleeve kind of like this but like i want it to be white and i don't think i have that i don't know i have to like look a little bit but yeah so this is it this is probably one of my cuter outfits that i have i'm absolutely Fine. obsessed also something else is we're gonna be going to like a homeless shelter because we oh. have a ton of snacks we want to give so um nice. unopened snacks they're not opened or anything Aww. two big bags so i'm super happy there's chips there's kind bars um goldfish oh my god that sounds so good just a bunch of random like snacks that i want to give to the i love to see that actually that makes me very happy in my opinion she tends to buy way too much when she goes grocery shopping at least just based on the previous few hauls she's done that i've seen so it's good that at least the food that she's buying at least in the circumstance she ends up donating to a homeless shelter because those people obviously need food a lot more than amberlyn reed needs food so <laughs> That sounded really fat phobic. I didn't mean it in a fat phobic way. I meant like in a money privilege way, just to clarify. But like, even if she really enjoys buying things in bulk, like you could still do that, but donate the bulk things to homeless shelters. Like I know people who will coupon, but like the free stuff they get with coupons, they end up just donating because like, they're like, I don't need it. But if it's buy one, get one free, I can, you know, give that item to a homeless shelter or something, right? Like that could be a good way to kind of like, you know, scratch that itch if you will, but also help the community community, right? If you want to buy 8,000 journals, maybe you can keep two and donate the rest of the 8,000 to a homeless shelter because I'm sure there's a lot of people in need who would love to have a beautiful journal that they can, you know, write how they're feeling, write out plans, all that stuff. But regardless, all I'm saying is I'm happy to see Amberlynn giving back. That is a good thing. It's less waste, so that's always a win. Homeless shelter. So I'm not entirely sure when we're going to do that, but uh, hopefully soon. Okay. So I'm about to shower, but I want to tell you guys some really good news. What Just happened? out of respect, let's close the toilet if we will. <laughs> and by the way, this one sits in the bathroom every time I shower, uh -huh. every morning, every evening, every afternoon. It doesn't even matter. Okay, so as you guys know, I really wanted to keep, sorry, I'm actually about to uh, pick my outfit for the day. I really wanted to keep the psychologist that I was doing therapy with. Okay. And guess what? I emailed her, talked to her, and we're doing the damn thing. Oh, BT Dubs. That's good. Oh. The door's hitting. The toilet. A lot of people thought that my apartment is made for people in wheelchairs. It's not wheelchair accessible at all. Even to get into my apartment, you have to like go upstairs. Um, 
<laughs> the way these bathrooms are made, especially- I relate because my apartment- By the way, I don't know if you noticed the door is broken in the back again. But my apartment is very, very, very outdated. And it's just, it's very old. And things just break down constantly. Like, it's its not like a luxury, like, beautiful, like, apartment like Amberlynn has. But I can relate to things just like, why is that like that? Like, hello? Who designed this and why did they design this? But it's definitely, like, a really weird spot to put a closet. Like, right next to the toilet. Like, where you can't even fully open the closet. Like, what if, what if somebody was, like, in a wheelchair, for example? Like, how the frick are they getting into that closet when there's a friggin' toilet in the way. I'd have a hard time fitting through that door, bestie. Like, not that I know any better. I've ever seen never designed a home before. I'd like to, sure, that'd be cool, but I haven't, so maybe they just didn't have an option, so they just went for it. Couldn't you just flip the toilet the other way? Really, like, impossible for someone with a wheelchair, which is sad. I feel like most places should be accessible for people in wheelchairs. Okay, let me get my clothes. I'll be right back. Okay. So yeah, I'm keeping the same freaking Little psychologist. Sweet. Like, uh, I, I literally love her so much because like, she, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like she gets me like, I need to go to therapy. And the fact that it's with a psychologist, it's like the best of both worlds. So literally it's almost like nothing has changed. It's just, I was very upfront with her and I said, I need to lose weight. I know this is a health at every size. Like she uses those words. She said that she is health at every size, that their program is health at every size. So that's why I was scared to like tell her like, I'm not that way. I, I don't agree with that. So I was like, you know what? Like, I want to keep her as my freaking person. So I need to just be honest. And I told her I'm going to count calories. I'm going to lose weight. But I ultimately want you to help me with everything else, like the trauma. And she thinks I have PTSD and like all this stuff. And uh, I just, I, I don't know. I vibe so well with her and I'm just so happy about it. Yeah. I'm Finding like a therapist and or a psychologist that works for you is such a vital part of recovery. Even if this psychologist is, you know, health at every size, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Obviously this psychologist kind of specializes in eating disorders just because she found her an eating disorder clinic, you know? So even if Amberlynn like had to temporarily get into that mindset, and this psychologist, you know, professional experience to heal her relationship with food, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's good that Amberlynn found a psychologist that she really likes. Hopefully she's sticks with this one for the long term because I would love to see and hear that she's dealing with like the trauma and if if she really does have PTSD that's something that you have to you know deal with and learn about and, and I love that the psychologist was open at least according to Anne Berlin to her like continuing to lose weight and count calories even though like her beliefs don't necessarily line up with that. I don't have a lot of hope I'm not gonna lie <laughs> anymore in the weight loss department but I still have hope regardless that Anne Berlin could recover even if she doesn't end up losing weight I think that anybody is capable of recovery if they really put their mind to it. So, I, I mean, maybe this isn't as intense as she should be. I really think that she should still be doing outpatient, if not inpatient therapy. But if this is, you know, all we're gonna get for now, at least it's something. It's better than her doing nothing and just, you know, continuing life the way it is. Even baby steps are steps, so... I'll take what I can get at this point. <laughs> Let's stop rambling now. I'm gonna shower and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so it's that time of month where Twinkie has a bark Unique box. Earrings. So I wanted to open it for you guys. Okay. So a bark box is like a subscription box for your mm -hmm. dog. I wanna get one for my cats, but I don't know if they have one. I'm gonna have to look into it. No, I'm not sponsored. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I think I get more excited than Twinkie. This month's theme is boops and scoops. Oh my gosh. <gasps> a melted oh, ice cream cone cute. toy. Okay, the bottom of that kind of gives me like the goosebumps. I don't like it. Oh my god, instead of a Choco Taco, it's a Choco Doggo. <gasps> oh, I'm so cute. excited for the play. Wait, does this come out of this? It does, you guys. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Who remembers Choco Tacos? Bomb dog. Those are the ice cream things, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Those were, if they're what I'm thinking of, they were fire. It was like a, like a waffle cone, like taco shell moment. And then it was like vanilla ice cream. And then it was like chocolate, like shell on top. Girl, I agree. Those were everything. Calm. And then it always comes with treats. We have chicken stick recipe. Okay. The gobble jerky nibbles, which is turkey recipe. And then we have clucky jerky sticks, which is chicken recipe. Very unique. Okay, you guys. So it's that time before grocery shopping. I like to take everything out of the fridge. I mean, I feel like your freezer can't like properly ventilate and like freeze everything. You know what I mean? Like it has to have some room in between objects so it can circulate properly. Like girl, that is like filled to the brim. Why do you need a grocery shop, girl? <laughs> Clearly you, you bought too much stuff last time. You don't need to add more to it. You need to go through what you have now. I see 
several meals in there and they're frozen so they'll last longer. So why not just go through that first, all of it, and then you can go grocery shopping. Freezer, everything out of the fridge, organize it, clean it, wow. wipe it all down. Um, so that was before, and then this was oh, after. I figured I would show you guys. Yes, yeah, so you're the not covering that little vent thing. If you cover that vent thing, there's no way there's proper circulation, girl. I mean, good job organizing and cleaning up because it looked like it was chaotic. Hopefully, you didn't just throw crap away that didn't fit the way you liked. But you gotta keep that little vent area open. It's probably a fire hazard too, because as an adult, I'm learning that like 99% of things are fire hazards, including myself. So just always be mindful of all things ventilation. Or an after. Um, I do go grocery shopping actually after this, which I take you guys along with me. So keep watching. Um, but this was before oh, it's a jade roller. I, was I took it all out and okay, I lost organized it. And then this was after. So I really like doing this like one yeah, time a week, always before I go grocery shopping. Guys, do I need those little clear things in my fridge? Cause I keep seeing them. Like I don't want that egg thing. That egg thing doesn't uh, No. But do I need those little like clear bins? Because every like beautiful like mom on YouTube who does those like cleaning hack videos, like they all have those. Do I need those? Is that gonna like make my life better? Or is that just like another like silly, like wasteful thing? Or does it really make a difference? Even the egg thing, does, does that make a difference? I don't know. Like, am I being an adult? in a wrong way by just putting stuff in the fridge. Listen, I didn't have great parental role models, so I'm genuinely asking. Like, I don't really know how to be adult. I'm just winging it. So then when I come home, it's a lot easier and cleaner to put my groceries away. Yeah, that's a good idea. I sped this part of your video up because besties truth be told it is boring. I wanted to keep it still because it is vital to our lives that we know what Amberlynn gets during her grocery shopping trip. You're welcome. <laughs> Gosh darn, that that was a little less uh, different than I was expecting, but go off. I was expecting like a, like a grocery moment and then like like a haul moment after, but I, I guess, you know, the title was a little misleading, but that's okay. What did you guys think of today's video? Do you think that Amberlynn is purchasing too many things in her grocery hauls or am I just being nitpicky? Cause that's possible. I'm a control freak, I can't help it. That's why I do reaction content. Thank you so much for watching today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. My goal for 2022 is 15,000 subscribers and I would be just honored if you join the grandchildren army today. Speaking of grandchildren army, I gotta give an extra special shout out to my beloved channel members. Seabell, Senya, Sophie Watson, Fluky, Betty, Katie Butler, Elizabeth W, Chloe D, Fonda Silva, Pokey 2, Tori Kelleher, Elizabeth Richardson, Rolly Poly Toad, Saber Sword Song, Despite Myself, Olivia Cat, April, Annie Autopsy, Kristen RB, Point Blank Period, Lula Duda, Helena H, Little B, Mind of Night Raid, Benjamin Soto, Kai Electra, Clapalo, Phineas the Hedgehog, Candy Cartographer, Angelina Rafoot, Tori V, Mystic Magic Luna Meowers, your local tiny bastard, Pudgy Punk, and last but not least, Milk Bread. Thank you guys so much for giving me just a little bit of extra support. I love you. I appreciate you. You guys are iconic. If you'd like to support the channel, you could either join my membership program or you can purchase my brand new merch. Link is down in bio if you'd like to check that out.
Both are good ways to support my journey. If you're interested and if not, that's okay. I still love you anyways. Question of the day. What is one thing you feel like you always buy when you go to the grocery store? Like, I know the cliche is like milk, eggs, you know, bread. <laughs> but like, what is one thing you're like, oh, I, I buy that literally every time I go. For me, I feel like it's bananas <laughs> because I really like bananas. Like I'll go through like a full bunch, like every week. Like I, I love me some bananas. So every time I go, I gotta grab some. All right, besties. Thank you so much for putting Precious Finance or Beautiful Life with me today. I love you. I appreciate you. I hope your day is as fantastic as you and I will see you soon. Okay? Okay. Goodbye.